Hi everyone, it's Rock Rivera and I'm glad you could join me for our tour and review of Coronado Springs Resort. We will be staying at the Grandesino Tower. So let's go! I gave my name to the member at the gate, then we parked our car in the parking lot. Then it was time to head on over to the Grandesino Tower and check in. Check in is located on the second floor. While entering the lobby, I was definitely in a shock of awe. It just looks so amazing, and you can obviously see the influence from Spanish, Mexican, and Southwest American cultures. You can see the details from the columns, to the lighting, and the rugs, and the chairs. It's just overall beautiful. The Coronado Springs Resort also has a convention center, so it definitely has so many collaboration stations and workstations where people can just plug in and do their work or just hang out and go online. So that's absolutely amazing just to have so many USB ports and available spaces that you can just sit and talk or work. So there is no reason to go to the front desk since we checked in using the My Disney Experience app and we also had our magic bands, but we wanted to check out the cool atmosphere and we also wanted to ask what activities were happening over the weekend. Ah, check it out! Isn't that cool? They're playing Destino! It's a short animated film that was a collaboration between Walt Disney and Salvador Dali. The short film is about Kronos falling in love with a mortal woman named Dahlia and it's so artistic and beautiful and you can see the influence throughout the tower. Don't forget to check out the little nooks near the check-in area. There's additional seating with more USB plugs and you can also check out what it looks like over the balcony. It's so beautiful with the decor and you can take a look at the Barcelona lounge. Then, if you also make an additional turn around the corner, there is a large table for a large group gathering or where you can continue to work and meet other people. So I love this area. It looks really cool and one day hopefully I'll be able to have some sort of meeting here. If you walk past the elevators, there is a fitness center located on the same level, which is pretty cool because I know there's another fitness center near the convention center, but it's neat that the Decino Tower has its own fitness center. So it looks like masks are required the whole time while you're working out and they provide towels, water, and it looks like hand sanitizer. So that's pretty neat. There's also a little fridge. So this fitness center was actually pretty empty when we came, but they have a lot of machines. They have ellipticals, treadmills, bikes, and weights. So this is a cool place to check out if you're staying at the tower. Make sure to check out the Destino Tower at night. It really comes alive with all of those bright lights. I really love the Barcelona lounge and the lobby. Everything just looks so much brighter and alive. So we're ready to go to our room and here are the elevators. These elevators are so cool because you just press whatever floor you're staying on and they assign you a specific elevator. I love this since it helps with social distancing since it's one party per elevator. Alright, we're here and we're checking into room 664. I'm excited. I love how I can use your band. So we booked a king room with a water view and we loved it. There is so much sunlight coming through and it looks so spacious. I just love the detail and the textures and the colors, the golds and the browns along with the mirrors. There's also a lot of patterns on the curtains and the walls and the details like the modern lamps. But most of all it was just functional. There's plenty of seating areas, tables, and areas where you could relax or work. They also had a coffee maker that you could brew coffee and a small fridge too. Another thing I really liked was the storage area under the bed. And what brought it all together was the Mickey towel. Wow, and check out this beautiful view of the lake, the fountain, the Three Bridges restaurant, the convention center. It was absolutely beautiful. Now let's check out the bathroom. 
The bathroom is beautiful as well. There is a picture of Dahlia even located above the toilet. That was pretty cool. There is also a makeup mirror, two double sinks, some toiletries, and I love the mirror with the light surrounding it. The shower head was so cool too. And the bathroom just had a lot of details. And of course they gave you the Disney soap. Across the bathroom there's a cabinet where you can hang some clothes. There's an extra pillow or blanket and a safe is also located in there. Disney does enhanced cleanings for all of their guest rooms here. And I love that even the remote was wrapped in plastic. Now that you checked out the room that we're staying in, let's go on over and check out the rest of the resort. Now the Coronado Springs Resort and Convention Center site is huge. It's about 142 acres and it surrounds a 15 acre lake called Lago Dorado. There are three settlements or villages surrounding the lake and that includes the Cabanas, Ranchos, and the Casitas. Let's go and check out the Cabanas first. The cabanas are cute two-story buildings, and most of them face the lake. So the first thing I noticed while walking by the cabanas was this amazing sandy shoreline, and it looks just so peaceful and relaxing. There's so many hammocks and chairs with umbrellas or no umbrellas if you want to catch in the sun. I also really enjoyed the music that they played in the background. It just really made me want to lay back and take a break from it all. The cabanas are also close to a bus stop, the dig site, and the Grand Destino Tower. Okay, now let's head to the most northern portion of the site, the ranchos. The ranchos really reminded me of Southwest America with their two and three story Pueblo style villas. And they were just so cute. I love the colors and the clay roofs and I especially love the landscaping throughout this area. The landscaping made you feel like you were in a desert or somewhere in Nevada with all the big boulders, the cactus, and the pebbles throughout. Now, the ranchos seem pretty secluded since they're the furthest north and away from all the hustle and bustle, but it's also pretty neat that there's a bus stop to the north and it's also pretty close to the dig site. Okay, now let's check out the last village, the Casitas. The Casitas are three or four stories tall, and that allows for additional accommodations for people that are there for the convention center. There are so many areas throughout that are just picturesque that you walk through. I really enjoyed all of the fountains that we found throughout the Casitas. They were so pretty and surrounded by gorgeous flowers and palm trees and landscaping. And another thing that I thought brought a lot of character to the space was all the arches and the archways that you could walk through throughout the casitas. There is also plaza areas where it looked like they hosted large events and areas where you could just sit down and relax. La Vida is also located in the casitas area. I went to check out the 24-hour fitness center there. There were treadmills and ellipticals and lots of weights that you could use within this area. It's nice that you could still use the fitness center since the massage area and the salon is closed at La Vida right now. Now all three villages have their own pool site. But the main pool site is called the dig site. Let's go check it out. Now the dig site is pretty large. There's the pool with the ruins in front and the jaguar slide. There's also a children's pool, a children's playground. You have the arcade, a volleyball court, and the spa and there's also siestas where you could get a drink or something small to eat. The main pool has a Mayan ruins theme and is called the Lost City of Cibola Pool. It has a 50 foot tall pyramid with steps and you can actually sit and relax on these steps in a 123 foot long water slide with the spitting jaguar spirit animal. Next to the pool is the largest outdoor hot tub at Walt Disney World that can fit 22 people. And don't worry if you forget your towel. Next to the pool is siestas, where you can get something to drink or a small appetizer or salad. Next to siestas in the pool are ping pong tables and the children's playground. This place was so entertaining for kids and my daughter especially loved running through the arches and the head and all of the slides there. We were there a long time. 
Next to the playground and the ping pong table is the arcade. Too bad it's closed right now. And right now they took the volleyball net down so people can lounge in the sun. All right, now let's head on over to El Centro. Here we can find the gift shop, convention center, and lots of food. Walking around as the sun goes down, the lights look really beautiful in front of El Centro. The scenery is also beautiful inside with a fountain and don't forget to look up at the dome roof. It has tiles and doves. There's also plenty of areas where you can sit and work or relax too. Let's check out the Panchitos gift shop first. There's so much merch here and it's also spread out. They even have some Coco merch for the Mexican theme and I love the atmosphere. Don't forget if you need a drink or any alcoholic beverages, they have it here too, as well as a full pin wall. Check out all those pins. Then there's toys and don't forget your frozen doll for the parks and plushes if your kid really wants one. Then there's clothes for toddlers, kids, and even adults. And also, there's some Coronado Springs merchandise, and that's really neat. I love the Spaniard vibe they have going on with their water bottles, mugs, cards, magnets, and it's just so neat. And if you do forget your luggage or if you need some extra ones to take home, they have it here too. And take a look at all the hats they have. Okay, let's take a peek at the convention center. The convention center has two ballrooms, an exhibit hall, and other small rooms. I love how this place looks with the large lamps. It's beautiful. Next, let's check out the food. Inside of Centro is a Mercado de Coronado. This area is a food court with Mexican and American food options. A lot of the food is grab and go, which is good if you want to eat in your room or on the go. Some other food options in this area are Rick's Sports Bar and Grill, where reservations are required, and Cafe Rick's. If you head on over to the Destino Tower, you can find the Barcelona Lounge. And this is where they serve espresso drinks, pastries, and light breakfast. The menu looked great, but I was a little disappointed in the coffee. If you're looking for more food options, you can always try Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Villa del Lago. You can add yourself to the waitlist starting at 4.30 and be sure to do that because the waitlist does fill up pretty quickly. We love the food here, the open air seating, and overall the atmosphere. If you'd like to hear more about the food at Three Bridges in our food review, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below. If you're looking for some specialty drinks or some small plates, the Dahlia Lounge is the place to go. It's located in the Grand Casino Tower. The lounge is decorated with beautiful Dali inspired decor and you can see his influence throughout the lounge. We decided to sit outdoors on the beautiful patio where you could take in the beautiful skyline which included Disney rides. The drinks did not disappoint. And if you'd like to hear more about the food we tried, be sure to check out the link below. Now there's so many activities you can do, including bike rentals and fishing rentals and daily crafts. I decided to try and make the matching Mickey tie-dye t-shirts for my daughter and I. It was a blast. They also have Movie Under the Stars, and it's located at the back of the Grand Casino Tower. Here they play a movie, and now they're showing Moana, and everybody sits down on the lawn and enjoys it. It was a beautiful blue night and as it turned dark, we were able to see it from our room, which was pretty cool too. Alright guys, well there you have it. That was our tour of Coronado Springs Resort and Convention Center. I hope you really liked it, but before you leave, I did wanna go over the pros and the cons with you. And the pros for me were, first of all, the food. The food was so good. <laughs> 
There are so many options. You could do the pick up and go, or you could go to a restaurant. But overall, I was just really impressed with the food options, especially after staying at other moderate resorts. There is just so many choices, so I really enjoyed the food. Second would be the rooms. I really enjoyed the rooms. They were so functional. So many USB ports, just storage underneath the bed. It was just overall a great stay. And I know all of the rooms were recently renovated, so you could definitely tell there was a difference in the rooms. And then my third pro would be the location. The location is just in such a great spot. You're close to Disney Springs and all four theme parks. And if you do go to the Dahlia Lounge and go up to that rooftop outside patio bar area, you can actually see the Yeti ride from the balcony. And it's just completely amazing. I just, I just love that it's close to everything. So keep that in mind when you're booking. And then my fourth would have to be the atmosphere. It was just overall an amazing atmosphere. I really enjoyed just the landscaping and yeah, their Mickeys are a little more hidden than usual, but I really liked it. It just, it was just so neat to see everything there. But I know some people say that they don't like that it's not uh, really bold in color and they don't have a lot of Disney characters everywhere. Uh, but I did see a lot of families with kids there and they are completely enjoying it. There's just so many amenities and activities and things to do that I think you could bring your whole family. I know my daughter certainly did enjoy it too. And now let's go over the cons. I have a really big con right now and it would be not being able to get into the dig site. And yeah, we did go in there just to do a little bit of filming, but we actually did not get to swim in the dig site pool. I know, I couldn't believe it either. There was a wait list on two of the days that we were there and the third day the pool was just shut down and they wouldn't let us in. So I was pretty upset about that, but luckily um, they were able to give us complimentary tickets to um, Blizzard Beach. So we do have those, but I was still a little sad that we didn't get to go in there and go swimming in the pool. So if you do wanna go to the pool, try to get there early, get on that wait list if you have to. I know things are different now because you have to wait in line due to social distancing and they only have so many chairs available. So just get yourself on that list as soon as possible or, or go early or later in the day. And then another con would have to be the coffee at the Barcelona Lounge. I was so upset, I, I'm a coffee drinker so I really thought that that coffee there was gonna be good, but unfortunately it just did not cut it. It tastes really burnt and it was not the espresso that I'm accustomed to. So just be aware of that. Maybe you wanna go somewhere else like Cafe Rita or somewhere at the theme parks instead, but I don't recommend going there, especially after seeing that amazing menu and how they show all the drinks and the fancy little cups, but no, they just give you a paper cup and then the coffee's not so great. So I'd hate for you to be disappointed too, but give it a try if you like. And another con would have to be that there's no Skyliner. I love the Skyliner at the Caribbean Beach Resort, but there's no Skyliner. So um, if you do wanna go to the theme parks, you have to take a bus, but that's also not a really big deal. So it's not too bad of a con, cause you can still use the bus. And I do hear that the bus systems there only pick up at Coronado Springs and no other resorts. So that's, that's a plus. And then my last con is that it's so big. Some people don't like walking or they have kids that throw tantrums. I know I do when you have to lug them across from one area to the next. So keep that in mind too when you're booking your room. And I think if you book it in the right location close to wherever you wanna be in the amenities that it could work out pretty great. But yeah, just something to keep in mind. Well, that's it for my pros and cons list. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want more detail on the food that we tried, we're gonna have another video coming out. So be sure to subscribe. And thank you for liking the video too. We really appreciate it and it really helps out the channel. Okay, well you guys have a good week and a good day. Bye.